I'm going to show you how to analyze your SEO performance fast using AI. This AI software fully analyzes your site's rankings, crawls your site for technical issues, does speed testing using PageSpeed Insights, does keyword research, has a content optimization tool, integrates with analytics, and has a project management feature. This is one of the most complete AI SEO software I've seen, and I'm pretty impressed by its capability. Let's lock in. Click the link in the description for a free site analysis using Labrica. Here's a couple of the main features listed. Uses AI to simplify SEO tasks by analyzing over 220 ranking factors and providing actionable recommendations. User-friendly interface that does not require prior SEO experience. So here I put in my project and it gives me some keywords that are recommended based on my site. Then I can click full site analysis here and it'll analyze everything. You can also do only a technical audit or only search rankings. So here this report takes a few hours, so I'm gonna come back to it. So here's the report it generated and here it has the keywords in the top 10. It has my top organic competitors. Here's the technical audit part. It shows all the critical errors and it shows technical errors, warnings. And here I can click description here and it'll show me exactly what it's talking about as far as the technical issues. So here's a graph of the critical technical errors and it's saying I have about 31 right now. So this is an overview, but I'm going to get into it here later. Here's the crawler stats. It shows how many pages I have indexed. Here I'm just going to scroll through the overview a little bit so you can see. Here are the pages that it's saying have errors. So here's all my pages. Here's the 400 errors. I can also look at the 500 errors, redirects, H1 and title being the same, pages that are loading slow, and the robots.txt. So here I'm gonna continue to scroll through the overview and I'm just gonna quickly go through all of these sections here. So here's the security section. It's talking about the SSL certificate, any kind of insecure content, mixed content, website availability. So this is just making sure it's accessible and it has some tests for that. Domain information, hosting information, server errors, Here's 400 errors, pages with broken links, broken images. So these are going to be really important for the site, for the technical audit. Robots.txt and any errors it might have. Here's the sitemap section and any kind of issues with the sitemap, like pages that are included but not available for crawling. So. This is a big issue here and something I would want to take a look at. So I can just click show and it shows me the pages that are in the sitemap, but no indexed. Here's the HTML errors, any issues with images. So it shows the images and missing alt text. Here's the page speed insight section. And I think this is really good to have right here just to see real quickly any issues with redirects and then here's the SEO audit section. So that was the technical audit we just went through and it's showing I have about 74 critical SEO errors that it has identified and I can click here in the description if I want to look deeper or just scroll through. So we have site indexability any kind of HTML errors that are related to SEO, pages with thin content, duplicate pages, over optimization, which it's looking at keyword density here for these pages. And I don't typically like to use keyword density, but this is a good way to see if you have any pages that maybe have been over optimized with your target keyword. So this is a good way to find keyword stuffing 
and it also has excessive use of headings. We have pages with plagiarism, any kind of other SEO errors, any issues with the links. So these are internal links. And then this section is talking about the elements that are normally found on a landing page, competitors. Here's some more things with the keyword rankings. And then we have keyword groupings here and the optimization tool. So these are pages that are recommended be optimized. And then I can click over here in the sidebar and it has everything right here that I can easily get to. So I can click here and it'll show me what pages it recommends optimizing and the recommended keywords. So it's saying I should optimize my home page with this keyword. So this is a really good feature. I'm going to take you into the content optimization tool here, and it has the title, the description, H1 and the body of the article. And then here it has a score on the left side that it generates based on how many of the keywords I have included. So I can go through here and optimize my content with the semantic keywords that it recommends. And it also shows keywords that I maybe have in here too much and I can go through and remove those if I wanted. And it also gives the average word count for the article, for the title and the description based on competitors in the top 10. So this keyword here, I have not used. And then it shows me the competitors that are using that keyword in the title and what their actual title is. So this is good information and good inspiration for writing my own title tag to compete with them. I can click here to highlight these semantic words and then it'll also show me which ones I should add in more. So that's what this list is on the side here. And then if you click it, it will give you examples of your competitors using those keywords. Here it's showing me where I have possible keyword stuffing. But again, this is using keyword density. So some of these keywords really aren't stuffed. They just come up a lot on the page. For example, products just by itself it's going to come up several times on this website. So it's not being stuffed for that keyword. But if you know what you're looking for, then this is a great tool to use. And then here it has some over spammed pages, what it calls. And this is excessive use of heading tags. And again, the keywords that have high density on the page. And here I can look at competitors. Here's some featured snippets. It's showing the elements I should have on the page, and it even has some TF IDF ratings. Here I can create a content brief for this if I wanted to rewrite this entire page. And these are essentially the instructions that I would give to the writer. So I can export these and give these right to the writer. And it has a lot of good information, examples, and things like that. Now let's get into the pros, cons, and my overall opinion of Labrica. Here's the pros. The AI does a pretty good job analyzing SEO performance and giving recommendations in an easy to understand way, making it great for beginners. I really like the technical audit and found some technical issues that you would really only find if you had the skills and expertise to run a full technical audit using the Screaming Frog. You can also integrate with analytics for even more detailed analysis and better action items. I like the project management software with the ability to generate a list of tasks based on the website analysis. This is not a feature I've seen on other AI software, and it's really helpful when it comes to putting together an SEO strategy. Here's the cons. The data and action items weren't perfect. 
though they were really good, some of the data was off. For example, it said I had more index pages than what I actually found in Search Console. However, this could be more accurate if I used the integrations. The content optimization tool was below average. I like that this software attempts to do everything, but I feel it fell short in actual content optimization and there's better software out there for optimizing the content. Overall, Labrica is an easy to use AI software that does a full analysis of SEO performance and presents the action items clearly enough that a beginner could put together a decent strategy for better rankings. Click the link in the description to run a free SEO analysis of your site using Labrica. Check out these other videos of AI software you should be using.